Hey guys, how you doing? Big Guy Z here, up in here once again on the Your Pants official YouTube channel. Although I must confess, I haven't really been on the Your Pants site for quite a while actually. Lots of IRL stuff to do. It's great to see a lot of people taking part in this open collab channel. I must admit, I do have my favourites, but that is for another video. So this week, we nerd fighters are now reviewing our favourite books, or a book that we own. And a week before that, some of us have been well, showing us what's on our shelves and like our book collections. I know, reminds me, I haven't really shown you my personal book collection, have I? Let's rectify this. Okay guys, here is my collection of books and right here we've got The Warstone Chronicles, aka The Spooks books. Right here, all collector's editions. In fact, I am currently reading the latest one I got. As you can see, it's got a bookmark there, so I'm currently reading that. And what else we got? Uh, the Spooks Bestiary. I'm actually going to review this in my main channel. So once that is done, I'll put an annotation maybe around here as soon as that's done. Uh, we've got some of my sister's books here. Twilight series, that's a little bit self-explanatory. Uh, the Book With No Name. I heard by Anonymous, The Book With No Name. I heard that this was really good. And we've got The Eye of the Moon, which is also another is the sequel of The Book With No Name. I have not read those, but they're my sister's and she's saying they're really good. Uh, got credit for just think cards. Some of these books, uh, some of these books I haven't even read. Like, Fiddleback, that is the sequel of the book that I'm going to review for you today. Spoot Sacrifice, the non glitz edition, the only book that I have two copies of. Spoot Sacrifice, Spoot Sacrifice. Uh, Spoot's Witches, spin-off story, mini story series, still quite good. Uh, got some of the True Blood books. Uh, let's see, like this, and there's one up here, Dead Until Dark, which is right up there, if you can see that. So yeah, I've got some more ones down here, you can see White Teeth there, that's quite adult, so I'll leave that there, and well, yeah, there's my little collection, modest collection of books. Okay, the book I'm going to show you, show to you and review to you right now wasn't on my shelf. I've got it right here with me. A bit about this book. It's a very special book. Probably one of my favourites of all time. It's a children's book. Like my favourite YouTuber, it is Australian. If you want to guess which YouTuber that is, comment below. But, yeah. Without further ado, here it is. 45 and 47 Stella Street and Everything That Happened by Elizabeth Honey, is it Elizabeth? Yeah, Elizabeth Honey. This book is quite old. I've had it since, I haven't had this one, but I've read it when I was like a little kid, but this book is such a good book. I've read this book three times, maybe four times in my own leisure, and I don't really reread books. That's a lot for me. This book, I know, it's just, it's just a charming book. I mean, look, it starts on the front cover. How can you not like this book? Um, a bit about it, it's basically just about an 11 year old girl called Henny and she's got a bunch of mates, a bit of family and their mates have family, they all live in Stella Street and the base of the story is that unfortunately an old resident of Stella Street dies a new, f a new like husband and wife take over like well take over in the sense that they bought the house, they move in and then things start going down they end up being very bad people, I'm not saying what they what they were or what happens it kind of but it's just basically a very charming book it's got illustrations and another cute thing is that there's letters to god henny sometimes prays to god as well which is i know it's, it's quite a sweet element to it but there's those of illustrations and it's just very funny it's just i know it's just a charming book it's just it's just a good honest Book. You, you can't fault it's a children's book but you can't fault it there is I must say there there is a sequel to this I didn't know this until like just last year or so a few years back called Fiddleback which I mentioned earlier which is here which is good it's set in a new place called Fiddleback and yeah it's quite good but I still like this one 
just saying about this no no this book is quite it's very close to my heart it's a really good adventure story you feel like you're part of the group that's it I'm not going to go too much about it but you just got you just got to try it out yourself I know it's not written by John Green but this is a this is a nerd fighteria book hands down but yeah that's all I've got for this video um I hope you enjoyed me talking about my favorite book ever and it's a little kid's book but still my favorite book and uh, if you want more of me big guy z you can find me on my channel youtube.com slash big guy z i'll put a link below and hmm i can't wait for you i can't wait to see you next time then i'm going to do for the next video i probably might address a few of you personally but that's still up in the air but um yeah i'll see you guys soon i'm going to work on my next my next book review on my main channel if it's done I'll put an annotation and a link below as well either or or both and I'll see you guys soon so until then laters